told you that you've been playing Dynamite wrong this entire time. This video features the best tips and tricks to help you play the trigger happy prospector Dynamite. Alright, so to start off this guide, the first thing I want to talk about is going to be his main attack, Short Fuse. Dynamite lobs two sticks of dynamites over obstacles that blow up after one second. Each of them will deal damage to any enemies caught in their 1.67 tile blast radius. Now, since the dynamites actually have a little bit of a delay before they actually explode, I really recommend trying to like aim where the enemies are going to be running to instead of where the enemies are at. I mean, this just really goes for any baller that you play, but especially for throwers, like it's important to use your ammo conservatively and try to be as precise as possible when you're aiming. Now, speaking of aiming, like you should never ever be auto aiming with Dynamite's main attacks. Like you're guaranteed to miss like pretty much every single time. You may also want to throw two pairs of Dynamite's in succession in two different areas as it's more likely that at least one will hit and still deal a decent amount of damage. Now, let's just say for example, you're being chased down by like an assassin or an aggro brawler. You should actually be throwing the Dynamite's a little bit in front of where you're running if they're chasing you. This will either prevent the enemies from pursuing chasing you or you'll actually be able to deal damage to them. You know, just like what I said earlier, like you don't want to be throwing your main attacks directly on the enemies because it'll just end up blowing up too late. Now, a little more advanced tactic you can actually use with Dynamite is when you use your super to throw your next set of main attacks where the super is going to be blasting the enemies to. I mean, you need to have extremely quick reactions for this and be good at anticipating where the enemies are going to be going to be running so you can aim your super in such a way where you can throw your main attack in the spot where the enemy will land at. But alright, we talked about Dynamite's main attack. Now I want to talk about his super big barrel of boom. Dynamite lobs the big barrel of dynamite that he carries on his back. The bomb has the same range as his main attack and after 1.3 seconds it detonates and deals very high damage to enemies. It'll also end up knocking them back and it'll also destroy cover in his 2.67 nope. tile blast radius. Now when you're using your super I really try to recommend trying to hit multiple people if you can. Mostly because if you can hit two enemies with one super that'll actually be enough for you to charge up your next super. Now this is one of the things that makes Dyna very deadly especially when using his hypercharge like good Dyna players just wait for the opportune moment to use the super and it ends up paying off. Now another kind of strategic thing you can do with dynamic super is to use your super to kind of blow up the enemies and have them knock back directly into your teammates. I mean this can just be helpful to get some extra damage off onto the enemies and since they'll be in a slight hit stun from your super they'll be unable to move and your teammates can go ahead and get them down for you. Now kind of like what I said earlier in like the description of big barrel of boom like you it's very helpful to use his super to destroy walls or other obstacles on the map. Now even though you technically don't want to be destroying walls as a thrower because you know you need those walls to protect yourself but if it's gonna be for the greater good of the team you know then just do it. Like in a very specific scenario like I'll list for example like in backyard bowl or in other brawl ball maps where there's a massive wall blocking the goal yeah just go ahead and blow that up and it'll make it a lot easier for you and your team to score some goals. Now what's also great about dynamite super is like you don't really need to be using any ammo like if you run out of all your ammo then you can go ahead and throw your super as a last resort to try to get a kill. This can actually be a great element of surprise like if you don't even have your super but then you just manage to charge it with your last bar of super then hey that can be a great way to kind of surprise the enemies and get some extra damage off on them. But okay that's pretty much all for his main attack and his super you know pretty self explanatory stuff but now I want to go into his gadgets but the first one I want to talk about is going to be fidget spinner. And no fidget spinner is not like the kind that you you know you spin on your finger no not that kind of fidget spinner. With fidget spinner dynamite rapidly fires a total of 20 sticks of dynamites within a 9 tile radius around him. Each stick will end up dealing 2400 damage upon detonation. He will also receive a 19% speed boost for the next 2 seconds but is unable to attack while this gadget is in effect. Now one of the very few things that this gadget is actually good for is scouting bushes because they cover such a large area on the map. Since Dino will have a hard time checking bushes with this main attack you can use the fidget spinner gadget as a quick way to see if anybody is camping in the bushes waiting to pounce nope. on you. Now another thing Dynamite's fidget spinner gadget is actually good for is like you know if there's an enemy like directly right next to you you can actually use this gadget to try and hopefully hit them because you know it's going to be kind of hard to hit them with your main attack. You can just pray that as you're running away that one of the dynamites that fly out from the gadget manage to deal damage to the enemy that is chasing you down. Bruh. Now speaking of like an enemy chasing you down like an aggressive brawler or a tanker or whatever if they get close to you this gadget can also be helpful to just 
get that extra movement speed so you can run away. And that is probably one of the better aspects to this gadget is that it can help you run away or just help you cover ground a lot quicker. Now let's just be real here, 99% of the time you're not going to be using this gadget because this gadget completely sucks compared to his second gadget, Satchel Charge. With Satchel Charge, Dynamic's next attack stuns enemies hit by its explosion for one and a half seconds. Now when using the Satchel Charge gadget, I really recommend like hiding inside of a bush or behind a wall just to have that element of surprise so the enemies don't even see that the Satchel Charge gadget is coming at them. Since it's going to be difficult for the enemies to reach you if you're behind a wall or they won't be able to see you inside of a bush, they'll probably be caught by surprise due to you being hidden and you'll have a higher chance of actually connecting with your gadget. Now I just absolutely love this gadget and the reason why it's better is because it's paired very well with his super. Due to the stun, the enemy won't be able to dodge the super as people often do nor can they provide counter fire. This pretty much will guarantee you a kill especially if your team is come and help you get them down. Now for brawlers that have more HP like tanks or other higher HP brawlers like you kind of want to be going with a little bit of a different strategy against them. With these kind of brawlers instead of just using your satchel charge and then your super on like the lower HP brawlers against those kind of tanks you want to be using your gadget and then a couple of main attacks to lower them down first and then finish them off with your super. I mean this is just going to be a better generic strategy to use with dynamite you know since they are stunned you want to be using your main attacks because their blast radius is going to be smaller than your super's blast radius. Now something that's helpful that you can do when using the satchel charge gadget is to fire your shots in sets of two. You can use your normal main attack to bait the enemies to run one way and then you can use your satchel charge gadget after that so you have a higher chance of hitting them. This will just help you get the enemy down but also help you chain your next super and just consistently keep bombing away at the enemies. But alright we talked about his gadgets now let's go ahead and talk about his star powers. Now the first one I want to talk about is going to be a doozy so hang in there with me it's going to be Dyna Jump. Now with Dyna Jump Dynamic's main attack Super and Hypercharge can propel him into the air to jump a short distance opposite and away from the detonation point. Dynamic is completely immune to all damage besides status effects and damage applied over time. Now a moderately difficult but useful strategy is to double jump with Dyna Jump. To do this, throw a shot at your feet and then quickly throw another shot parallel and one to two tiles away from the first shot. The first shot will propel you forward and if your timing and position are right, it will propel you towards towards the second shot for that shot to propel you. It's much trickier with his super as you'll have to throw an attack even further. Now double jumping will take a lot of practice to master but it can assist you in many situations to avoid getting hit for the while that you're jumping. Now not only is this star power going to be helpful to deal damage onto like enemies that are like directly on top of you, like you can use this as a way to propel away from them and even escape to jump over walls or other obstacles. In desperate situations, his super propels him even further. This will actually make it an even more reliable tool for escape while also being able to damage and even defeat enemies. Now he can utilize this Dyna Jump star power to kind of boost his way to get closer to the objective quicker like jumping over walls or other obstacles to get closer to things like the hot zone. Now being able to jump over walls or water to get to the hot zone faster will help you maintain control and pressure which can ultimately help you win the game. Now something that's kind of underrated but even trickier than double jumping with dynamite is to actually use your Dyna Jumps to dodge the end coming attacks from the enemies. Now this is pretty rare but it can actually help in sticky situations when under heavy fire. Nope. This takes extreme coordination and anticipation however. I wouldn't recommend doing this in an actual nope. match unless you know that the enemies aren't really that good and you want to get some practice in. Now realistically in my opinion you know I'm not really the best dynamite player you know I'm not in that like one percentile of all dynamite players that main him and are very good with dyna jumps so if you're kind of like me you know you're not in that one percentile you know you're not going to be bragging in the comments Ooh, you know i'm so good with dyna jump brain your tips are wrong okay, we get it you know we're not dynamite pros okay but you know if, if, for the rest of you guys that are like me you should be using the demolition star power now with demolition dynamite super deals 1600 more damage now there's nothing really to say about this star power like it's pretty straightforward like you just get the extra 1600 damage whenever you use your super i mean it just helps you get down more enemies since your super will be dealing more damage and that can really change a lot of engagements now this is just going to be the better star power to run with dynamite because it's just more consistent and more reliable than you know having a practice dyna jump and everybody attacking you and throwing you off i mean it's just more consistent i mean majority of the players that play dyna don't have the interest and time to learn dyna jump so demolition will 99 percent of the time be the better star power for you and of course this demolition star power pairs very well with this satchel charge gadget you know you can stun them with the gadget use your super deal that extra damage but it even pairs very well with his hypercharge boomer now with boomer when it's activated dynamite super Super spawns 8 
smaller bombs in any direction upon detonation. Each of them will end up dealing damage to any enemies caught in their blast radius. It will also gain a 30% damage boost, a 25% speed boost, as well as a 15% shield boost. Now what I really love about this hypercharge, like it's relatively easy to charge up, like you only need to connect with 8 dynamites in order to fully get it. Like if you manage to hit one enemy with your hypercharge super, that's already half of your super, right? So if you hit two people with your super, then you automatically get your super back and you just keep on attacking until everybody is pretty much dead. Now what's even better about this hypercharge is all of the little dynamite smaller bombs that shoot out out of the bigger bomb. You know, that can still help you deal damage and even better yet, if you can manage to hit with those smaller bombs, it can help you charge up your next super. Now I can kind of think of this hypercharge like Dynamax gadget fidget spinner with the bombs flying all over the place, right? But the hypercharge is actually going to be even better because it's going to cover even more area on top of the map. You know, with the smaller bombs that are being shot out, you know, they can really do a lot of devastating damage, and who knows, that can really get you some unexpected kills and help you charge up your super even more. But okay, that's pretty much all for his hypercharge, but the next thing I want to talk about is his gear, so the first one I'm going to talk about is going to be the damage gear. Now, with the damage gear, you'll be able to deal 15% extra damage when dropped below 50% health. This is going to be helpful, you know, with the thrower against this very aggressive meta, dynamic will probably be dropping a lot of health, so, you know, you can always benefit from getting that extra damage. And of course, if you manage to pair this up with, you know, with his demolition star power and his hypercharge hole man you're gonna be dealing devastating damage and there's nobody that's gonna really be able to survive like your hypercharge demolition super but okay the second gear i recommend running with dynamite is actually gonna be the gadget charge gear you know because with the gadget charge gear you get an extra gadget to use throughout the match having that extra opportunity to stun them you know to help you you know get down a confirmed kill and who knows that really may turn the tides of a game especially if it's like a gem carry and you end up blowing them up and taking the gems hey there's a lot of different versatile scenarios where this gadget can come in very handy. Well, there you guys go, a complete guide on how to play Dynamite. I really recommend playing him, getting his hypercharge because it's really simply the only reason why he's so good right now. Well, anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed that brawler guide, I highly recommend you guys go check out this brawler guide right here.